Welcome back to the most amazing top 10. My name is Danny Berg and today we're going to be getting our tongues all in a bit of a twist as we look at the top 10 hardest words to pronounce. Now this video is basically going to be me trying and most probably failing to say words that are famously difficult to say. And I want you guys to join in too. Can you get 10 out of 10 on this list? I probably won't. Maybe you will. Let's see as we jump into our number 10. Brobdingnagian. Brobdingnagian. Brobdingnagian? Is it a soft G? Brobdingnagian. Yeah, I was never going to get a word that starts with brob. What other word starts with brob? I'm already out at that point. I'm done. Words should not be allowed to start with brob. Apparently that word means giant. So can we just say giant instead? Giant's a perfectly good word. I can say giant, 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 giant. Easy. All right, at number nine now, we have otorhinolaryngologist. Otorhinolaryngologist. Is that it? I think I got it. Otolaryngologist. It's a lot easier when the word is actually right in front of me. I don't know how I'd manage if I just had to say it in a sentence. But I probably wouldn't say it in a sentence. It says here it's actually a doctor that specializes in ear, nose, and throat problems. So I'm probably going to continue calling those people doctors. I think doctors is a perfect word just for everything. So we don't have to say words like that. All right, our number eight now is terrifying. First of all, that's not the word. I'm going to give this one shot, and that's it. Flochinor sinif... Sinny hilipilification. Floxinorsony hilipilification. I will ask you letters there, right? I got the last five letters I'd say, right? Apparently that means to estimate something as being worthless. A bit like that word. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, word. Uh, I just find it a little bit intimidating. And when I'm intimidated, I lash out. Right, at number seven now, we have easiest word for me on the list Worcestershire. Now I can pronounce that fine because I'm from England. La 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 la. Look at me. But I know a lot of people who aren't from England, who aren't even from you know anything that ends in sheer, struggle with that word. Our word at number six now: sesquipedalian. Sesquipedalian. I think so. Sesquipedalian. Apparently that means long words with many syllables. I guess it takes one to know one. All right, on to number five now, and we have absquatulate. Too late or too late? Might be too late to get that right. I think it's absquatulate. That's what I'm going with, final answer. Absquatulate. And the definition of that is to leave somewhere quickly. So next time you guys want to get out of something, you just have to say you have to absquatulate and people will be too confused to even care. You can just go. All right, and number four, bruschetta. That's how I'd say it. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but apparently I'm wrong. Did anyone else say it like that? Bruschetta. Yeah, apparently. It's actually bruschetta, not bruschetta. The actual Italians say bruschetta, so who are we to say otherwise? I wonder if anyone else knew that. Coming in at number three now, we have, uh, it's like a word out of Harry Potter or something. Pultritudinous. Pultritudinous sounds like a spell. Do you know what I mean? Pultritudinous. It's not pultritudinous, it's pultritudinous. Pultritudinous. Now, personally, I would have thought that any word that starts with pulch is going to be pretty nasty. It sounds horrible. It sounds like something to do with gardening. But apparently, it means something is breathtakingly beautiful. So, guys, you can try that on your crush next time you see them, if you can pronounce it. That's the challenge. All right, next up, at number two. Uh, you guys can see it on the screen now. I know the first part, hippo. I can see the last part. Phobia. It's that middle part of about 15 letters. Okay. Hippotomonstrosequipedaliophobia. Just imagine I didn't sound like a three year old when I said that, and I think I got everything down there. I think that's the full word. Hippopotamonstrosesquipedaliophobia. Now, absolutely disgustingly, that actually means a fear of long words. Whose idea was that? Whose idea of a sick joke is that? What kind of twisted person gives people with a fear of long words? One of the longest words I've ever seen. Sick. And finally now, we've got a place name in England, because in England, lots of place names don't sound like how they're written. I don't know why. Don't look at me. So for our number one, this was suggested to me. I'm going to say it the only way it looks like. It's going to be Wolfardis Worthy. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds more like a name. Wolfardis Worthy. But actually, apparently, it's just Woolsery. Woolsery. Why? What about all the other letters? I mean, I'm, it's, I understand like one silent letter, but that's most of them, and they've changed the word. Woolsery. I don't know. 
All I know is that English people are weird. Trust me guys, they're going to ruin the English language. Mark my words. Alright, that was pretty difficult. My mouth kind of aches a little bit now. I wasn't too good at some of those, but I did a lot better on other ones. I'm not too shabby at all. How do you guys do? Did you get 10 out of 10? Did you get none of them right? Do you know any harder words? Leave your comments and suggestions down there in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if it's still red. I want to see all the subscribe buttons white. My name is Danny Berg and you've been watching Most Amazing Top 10 and I'll see you guys soon.